back. It says Levi coming to you. Um, yeah, hopefully I'm doing something a little bit different than normal right now today. I'm gonna be running a black base on this. Um, and we're gonna be doing some real heavy metallics on top. This is for one of our two idea design ideas for a art center floor we're coming that we're gonna be doing here in a, I think a week. Are we a week away from that job? It's in two. A, Two the weeks. 16th, Sorry, yeah. Sorry, the 16th. The yeah. class is coming up on the 16th. It's actually going to be a workshop we're going to be doing here where we're going to be rolling a 1,700 square foot floor in a really high end custom um, art studio that's being built here in our valley. Really, some really cool stuff. They have like some amazing artists, actually, world renowned artists working out of there that are even going to be doing some of the pieces right there in front of us. So I don't want to show up and do something ugly so now normally I would never just roll or pour epoxy this thin and I'm sorry I'm not gonna be like chopping these on there showing off the trust air so what I'm talking about with microphones hanging on me and all of a sudden it made me feel breezy on my titties so <laughs> I was like wait a second getting self-conscious there hey Laura hey hey, hey. Laura, good to see you today how are you today <laughs> me trying to roll out. Dinner yeah, we, went, we went thin, thin. But we have all these cool accents to go on top. Yes, yes. You know what I'm going to do? What I never do? Spread it with a knife first. Just to kind of get it out into place. Like I say, this is kind of a custom thing we're doing for an art center. So we're doing a, a very custom floor that's going to be a... I think, I think we're either doing what we're this right here so you're gonna let you guys probably help pick we're gonna be doing bronze but then we're also gonna be doing a really cool liquid silver um with like chrome in it so um, i don't know i don't know how modern if we should go more modern or more oh so laura said happy friday laura, and the volume is here. low let's see welcome back laura love you let me see if i can fix awesome that day. for you just like i am my little girl's with me again today. Is that better better one or better two? <laughs> better one or two. <laughs> like the eye doctor, you know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have to tell a sweet story, but it made me, like, think that I'm probably, I laugh too easy. But it was, like, the sweetest old lady. I didn't know whether I should laugh or cry, but um, I'm at the DMV getting my little girl's um, driver's permit the other day. And there's a very elderly lady like the kind that as bad as it sounds I was like she looked like she was kind of just having a hard time walking and knowing where she was at and I was like can't believe that lady's getting her driver's license and she's right right next to my daughter and there's nobody in there so I was kind of watching her super sweet though I was I feel like old people are so under under appreciated too so you know I didn't wasn't judging her or anything but holy crap she steps up, they, they get to the eye exam portion, and the lady says, I'm gonna have to have you step on the, the X and um, read the fifth line to me with one of your eyes closed. And she goes, well, I have one fake eye, um, you know, so I only have one good eye. And the lady goes, okay, well, you know, obviously don't cover your good eye. And, um, you know, just go back there and you don't even have to, you can just stand back there and see if you can read the fifth line. So she goes back there and then, and I'm not looking at her, and she's standing behind me, and the lady says, what's the fifth line say? And she goes, I can't see, I'm blind. And I look back, and she's covering her good eye, and even the lady behind the counter was like, almost laughed, and I was like, I don't know, maybe I'm just a bad person. It was just a, one of the, and she, she was like, no, you have to uncover your good eye so you can see it, and she like three times covered her, covered her good eye, and the, DMB lady was trying to her credit to explain that she could actually leave her good eye open, but it was a unique, a unique thing. And now we're that beautiful, sweet lady is on the roads with us because so I think she passed her test okay when she left it open. <laughs> Thank you for the likes and for sharing, Thank guys. You for the love, guys. I always just wonder where that lady's blind spots are on her car when you're driving next to her. The whole left side. I almost lost my eye to an explosion one time. So I definitely feel for anybody like that. Ooh. 
Okay, um, we're ready to make this ugly or pretty. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see which direction this goes. Make sure my thinking cap's on here. I don't mess this up. What are you pouring today? This is bronze. And a couple Ooh, different yeah. accents of bronze. It's a nice bronze. On black. We're doing a um, sample floor for a big art studio that we're going to be pouring with our class in two weeks. So anybody coming to our class on the 16th, we're going to be doing a really cool um, floor um, for a new, really modern high-end art studio. So I'm thinking this or actually we're thinking of possibly silver. So oh, I can't hold sorry. this to save my life. <laughs> sorry. My little hands. I'm just in your way. <laughs> Getting all slippery. Oh man. Thank I you for the likes, y'all. Didn't I? Okay, that's actually it's like one drop of white liquid pigment into this um, into bronze. We actually just mixed one big thing of bronze, separated a little bit out, added a drop of black in one, two drops or something, and a couple drops of white in the other one. Good morning, Teresa. Good morning, Teresa. Thanks for being here. You got Michael behind the camera today. Thank you for the likes, y'all. And I'm mic'd after yeah, much request. So now you guys, <laughs> aren't you guys, please comment on this one here. Michael's super shy, he's behind the camera. But basically everything really badass that you see at this company, he has a huge hand in and a part in design, artistic, creativity, all kinds of stuff, all, all our videos. He edits a lot of them, most of them. Um, and I think he has valuable enough input that we need a microphone on him so we hear what he has to say too and make it easier for us to communicate with you guys. So, and I think you guys will all be excited to meet him when you come to a class, so. Thank you guys. Uh, Wait, Laura, I do, think you, everybody do you out sell there coffee? Wants to meet Michael and hear him more. What's that? Um, Laura's name is Lulu. Lulu's Coffee. Lulu's Coffee. It's making me want coffee. And what's her name, though? Laura. Laura. That's yeah. Laura. That's yeah. one's Lulu's Coffee. That's what I thought. One of the better people on here. Okay, should I just... Thank you for the follow. Thank you for the Winnie. follow, guys. We love you all. Thank you for being here on our page today. Oh, she just drinks a ton. Same. Hi. <laughs> My little girl's been coming to work with me a little bit, and I'm like getting her in a coffee drinking habit, so I don't know if that's good or bad. I feel kind of guilty about it, but I love coffee, and I'm like, do you want to go to Trader's Coffee again this morning? Oh my gosh, that looks so cool. Oh, I'm loving this, guys. I'm not yeah. sad. I think like, this is like, this is a, actually, I know this is a more of a countertop size piece, but this is actually a sample for a big art studio floor, so you guys, I want your opinions. Even if they're negative, yeah. I might not concern myself with them if they're too negative, but it almost looks like a, a wood. Yeah, it does almost look like wood. Yeah, I think so too. Sabrina says that's a beautiful color. Sabrina, thank you for being here. Again, too, you. Um, oh, thank you for the heart, me, Winnie. Laura said, but I'm getting a hold of my friend for Levi's daughter about starting up a business. Ooh, badass. Dude, me and my little girl, we're going to Italy, so in October to meet a bunch of design companies. And um, Thank you for the love, guys. Spain and Italy, and we're going to go check out some coffee roasters, too, I think, in Italy. So. Oh, dropping bombs. Welcome. Dropping a mid-morning Friday There's light with legendary Levi AK. Motivational speaker dropping bombs. <laughs> the Bob Ross of epoxy. Too sweet. Okay, this is gonna probably oh, just be oh, left yeah. up. Sorry. I'm gonna do a dirty little pour here. Now we're gonna do a little bit into my clear because we're pouring this. Now I'm gonna show you guys kind of a neat idea that I I had a doctor's office, a buddy of mine built a office and he said we have a ton of windowsills and they're all made out of drywall and we can't legally have just drywall in a windowsill. We have to have um, didn't even think of that last second decision there. <laughs> There's a little bit of white there. They said it has to be sealed. Can you build window sills out of epoxy to save you save us some money? Um, can you build window sills out of epoxy to save us some money? 
and figure a way. Well, I went in there and it was a nasty old building that had been remodeled really nicely, but every single windowsill would have been a crazy job scribing it in just perfectly. It would have been thicker on one side than the other and they all had to be flush mount. They couldn't have any overhang. So I was like, that's gonna be difficult. They have to be measured within probably a 32nd of an inch and scribed with uneven drywall. I mean, that's, a, that's just a challenge. And then I thought, my little thinking cap popped open. And I just taped off the windowsill and I did exactly this dirty pour method, which we'll do with that, into a window so we have prepped already. And I just literally did this and let it go. So hmm. thank you for liking. Um Thank you for your love, y'all. They're saying the volume's too low. The volume's too low. Maybe it's just my mouth not speaking loud enough. I'm sorry guys. Leave it to me now. If you notice, I pour a lot of my dirty pours out of a clear because I love the three-dimensional aspect it gives it. And I don't want to come and just manipulate it right now. It's better to just pour stuff, let it settle out into there. You see all these air bubbles, let them float to the top naturally. So we're not overly torching this and then blurring our colors. We want to still see a really pretty separated dirty pour here. So while this is just settling, we're going to run over to our windowsill here. And you know what I forgot? Hmm. My girl, I forgot. I forgot. I'm gonna do a little more because I just want some of that silver. I forgot the silver, dude. Oh yeah. What are you doing, Lenny? No. What are you doing? Well, I'll tell you what I'm doing. Just remembering that I've mixed another color too. Thank you for the follows and likes. Thank you so much for the love, guys. You guys don't really know. We're a small company. We work really hard. We have huge competitors that are all billion dollar companies and we make better resin by far. We teach better classes. We're the world's number one, I guarantee, training facility, even though we're a really tiny company. And I can say that being this small of a company but having this much of an influence on TikTok is all really because of some of you guys out there that are constantly supporting us. And I know it sounds cheesy, but legitimately, probably like the top 10 of you guys have made a huge impact in our ability to just be successful because of your constant support, so thank you. Um, what won't epoxy stick to? You know, epoxy um, doesn't stick to silicone, and I'm always careful on any non-porous, like um, heavy gauge plastics that are really smooth, whether that's even a melamine or a, or a you know, any, it's weird, it'll stick to like tempered glass though if you prep it correctly, but like heavy gauge plastic we pour on that because it never sticks to this. Um, this is getting kind of warmish, so I'm gonna go just pour it. Now this is our windowsill idea I was telling you guys about. So there's a surgical office, an eye, eye surgeon office, whatever, doctor's office, that they remodeled it. It had all these windowsills. Um, with trowel drywall new to it and they needed windows I think they needed something like 57 different window sills in the building and they all had to be perfectly flush with the drywall but the drywall was not even so it was going to be a huge job trying to scribe everything to meet the drywall and they were just trying to save money with epoxy and I did it all in about six hours because I just taped the faces off like this next to dirty pour of epoxy poured some of the prettiest stuff I've ever seen in my life let it self-level, let it cure. And then I pulled that tape and I had a beautiful, beautiful three-dimensional windowsill. So. Will it stick to tape? Let's see, hold um, on. You know what, if you want the tape. HDP plastic, If you want sorry. the tape that does not stick, use any type of mylar base tape. I use HVAC tape, I use um, mylar tape. Um, if you notice this, I actually ran mylar, which is the same as like a house wrap tape, it's just, a little little bit better, thicker than most house wrap tapes that I use. And I just use mylar, but house wrap will work fine. And then I just shape it with the foil just so it makes it sturdy on whatever access or however I damn it. And look at this. I don't know if y'all like that, but... This, yeah. But what an easy way to do a beautiful windowsill. And it takes literally, if you can clean your drywall and mask it, you can pour a beautiful window sill. I mean, this right here, this window sill would cost probably three, $400 to have built. And it cost me about 
twenty dollars in resin, less than that, probably fifteen dollars worth of resin poured in, and that's prettier than any kind of natural stone you'll ever have. So. Um, will it stick to HDPE plastic? Oh no, actually HDPE plastic that's well, very resistant, so it's very non-porous. So very good question. What about a laminate countertop? Laminate? Yeah. Sticks very well. Just clean it with acetone, and I always run a sander over it if I need to to clean any kind of silicone off out of my corners and whatnot. So. Does the vapors make you sick? Does the what? No. Actually, good question about the vapors. I love that we're getting more people out there that are conscientious about the health aspects of epoxies and whatnot, but this product we're pouring here today, it's one of the only true zero VOC um, countertop epoxies in the world, and um, kind of the great, it's one of the hardest, most scratch resistant, clearest, best color stability. Um, links in the bio, it's our epoxy. But you can check it out. It, it, we can put it up against any epoxy in the world. And it's extremely competitively priced. So um, the difference of a small company versus a major corporation that only cares about profit margins. Kind of funny, the fact that it came down to healthy epoxy and the health aspect and lying to customers is the reason I didn't sell my company to a huge company that's bought out almost all of our competitors. And I was honestly somewhat interested in selling since just before COVID until I met them um, and viewed their manufacturing facility. And basically the whole entire sales deal of how they wanted to buy my company out for millions of dollars was how we'd make so much money by screwing people over and not disclosing that we changed our recipes. So, needless to say, that I, was, I didn't have interest in that, and we are still uh, sitting here and loving our jobs every day. Which means that no matter what enticing stuff comes in, you always gotta have something that's worth more than money to them. You want to enjoy your life. Oh, Jeanette's here. Hello, Jeanette. Jeanette. Good to see you today. I always say see, but good to know you're here. I love a lot of our people out here. Um, does the sun mess it up at all? Does the sun mess us up? No, not, just don't pour whites or clears. But you, we pour this exterior. Oh, we just did about a 200 square foot barn in Texas um, exterior, but we just stayed away from whites and clears. So, now, if you're in a kitchen and through a window, our whites are very color stable. And it's, uh, we wouldn't just use exterior and direct sunlight with a white. Now I do have a white for floors and thinner applications where you can do a 35 year color stable white that'll be color very color stable for 35 years. So so if you are interested in that come to a class and we'll teach you how to do that but um I just want your microphone maybe flipped up a little more. Oh does my guys? microphone fall I think they're just struggling to hear you a little Sorry guys, don't <laughs> hold your torch like this at home. I'm a professional. I hold fabric in my legs all the time. I'm a ginger. Can you pour inside on a counter that's in place or do you have to take it outside? Oh no, you pour inside all the time. The majority of these jobs get poured inside. So, but like I say, you can pour it depending on what you're doing. You can pour all kinds of products outside. This is a very flexible, very shock resistant, um, color stable epoxy. So, we're seeing almost all of your high end contractors and installers have been coming over to us lately. It's been really fun to see uh, uh, kind of a migration to quality, I can say. And it took years for us to build that. So. A lot of it's because of you guys. So thank you for the love, guys. Uh, Chip said, my sister is in the epoxy countertop business and I have been helping her now. I'm hooked. That's badass, Chip. You guys both, Chip, come out to a class and say hi to us sometime if you want to. I never, ever spray mirror backing spray for any reason. 
on anything. Um, Jordan said, how tough is epoxy against knives? Can you cut on it? Knives? Um, you could cut on it if you wanted to. At least it wouldn't damage your knife like it would if it was granite. But unlike granite, where if you cut on it, it still fractures or scratches it, but it's hard to polish. This here, if you did damage it, you could polish it. But I used to own a granite counter shop, top shop, before I ever did this, and I always would tell my customers, don't cut on your countertops. So, so it's not like, just because I can do it doesn't mean I recommend it. So, but like I say, if you do get damage in this, it definitely is better because you can actually polish it straight out, just like a clear coat on a car. Unicorny Poo said, changing the ingredients is a corporate industry standard when buying out good products. Amen, Mad Unicorn. Mad face. They, I can't even say the drum line. I know that I have no fans there. The, I talked to the CFO and the CEO of the company and neither one of us got along very well. So I have a really good relationship with a lot of my customers though and a lot of my dealers have become my friends or they're my friends that started became dealers because they were my friends. And there's a few things I won't do, and that's intentionally or knowingly let down people that work super hard to bring quality. I mean, they come to training, they learn how to use a specific product, and you can't go and change that without telling them. So. You want to know? It's just like me. Say again? Uh, why isn't it catching on fire? Oh, because this is a zero VOC, very, it, um, this is just a chemical reaction taking place here. There's nothing evaporative or solvent based in this, so it's never going to catch on fire. Can you pour epoxy on cement tile? Um, yes, actually. That's one of the jobs I'm going to be showing you guys this morning. I'm actually going to be going over tile, correct? So. When is our next class? Um, the 16th, and we're actually doing a big, our next class is the 16th, and we're actually doing a really badass art studio um, here in town. It's going to be a very custom job that I think will kind of surprise some of y'all. Oh, this one's alcohol in here. Somebody wanted to know why it wasn't on fire. It's probably just because they see me spray alcohol and burn it sometimes. Don't ever do this at home, guys, unless you want to have too much fun. It would be too dangerous, so I recommend against having this much fun and not being safer than me. If you're only being as safe as me, you're being very dangerous. Oh, that's freaking... That's so beautiful right there. I love that. Sorry, I was trying to get around that glare. Oh, yeah, you can't even see that. It's so three-dimensional. That looks like six inches thick right there. It's what do you guys sweet. think about that? How about them apples? I don't know. Do you guys think you could do a simple countertop or a floor like that? And... Give me your feedback on the window sills. We don't really, I don't advertise that, but it's just a really fun way that I've found to do a really beautiful sill. We'll probably, I'm gonna mix my wall epoxy here. Hi, cake baby. Yeah, the colors are nice, huh? Just testing out a few colors here. All right. I'm trying not to get my toes dirty. Oh. Your pedicure, is this the same pedicure or the a new one? This is the same one. It, it needs a redo by my little girl, so. <laughs> yeah, come on, Texas, you guys all acted so weird about my pedicure there. I guess they don't have daughters out in Texas. Nobody has any little girls that they let do stuff to, to their feet or fingernails. <laughs> um, wouldn't a window still yellow? A windowsill? No, not at all. That, not with this epoxy. It definitely would if you used a cheap epoxy or if you just did like a pure white or a clear and a cheap epoxy or something like that. But it's more than a okay. Okay, I'm excited. This here, we're gonna go do a wall. It's already two days into it, um, but I'll see what I can see what I can do with you all. Here, let me grab a little spatula, a serving spatula. Make this is probably way. one of my greatest loves of epoxy is wall. 
working walls lately. Here's one I plastered most of this. Here, ooh, I kind of like this. We left it in the entryway. Oh yeah. What's that? I like this one, yeah. I do like that. What do you guys think? Just a countertop epoxy. This is a red copper, copper, Caribbean, gold. Just like fun, and most of this is all just scratched with a stick. I poured a vein through it, and then I just kind of tracked it with a stick, scraping it, torched it, it's done. So, here goes nothing. Oh wow, that translucent gold is Dude. blinding. Oh, you can see it? Yeah. Man, I mean, I see the translucent gold, but I don't see it that bright. Like, y'all probably see it totally different. Let me see. Oh, that looks pretty clear. Yeah, that's awesome. Do y'all like that? I might be toning that down a bit today. Yeah, we did this on the live, or that other wall. Yeah. With the class. Yes. What kind of epoxy do you sell? Can I also make wall arts and jewelry with it? Oh, yes. Um, we sell countertop epoxy, um, a really good um, high-end black label and um, FX epoxy, which is what you guys at the DIYer would call it by. And it's the same product we sell all our contractors. I don't have cheap quality products that we give to DIYers and then better for commercial customers. We sell all the same product, everything's zero VOC. Um, Everything's 100% true, 100% solids. Um, very shock resistant. This is a epoxy guaranteed like no other, so. They wanna know where the class is. Um, we have one coming up, a class here in um, just a little while and on the 16th, September I guess. 16th. And that is um, gonna be right here in Grand Junction, Colorado. So I'm gonna start out with a couple of just regular drywall blades. I always try to make sure the belly, if the knife has one, is away. I don't want the tips poking into the wall, so. Um, where can they purchase our products? I might borrow this ladder really quick. I'm only like seven feet tall. Sorry. Um, where can they purchase our products? Right here on countertopepoxy.com, and the link is in the bio. So, thank you guys for being here today. To not block your views. Tell that ugly man to get out of the way of my view. Okay, we're gonna do our best to do a very thin. This would be like, oh, this is all over tile, by the way. Um, we don't want directly over the same tile as what's here on our walls around us. So I'll show them over here. Um, this is what it was. Yeah. So all there. Now we have a single layer here and two layers here and two layers over here. I'm just kind of doing a final really smooth thin coat just to get it as even the edges done really nicely. Do you have to take a class to be able to do countertops? No, you can do a countertop just and we also have an online course coming up here that links in the bio if you want to check those dates. Yes. We're really putting a lot of time into trying to help you guys so you don't have to come to training if you don't want to. I will say, in-person training, there's nothing like it. And even the networking aspect of that, everybody, every single time is shocked at how valuable an in-person class is. However, I I'm a contractor and I constantly work with people who taking four days in Colorado might be a big challenge and like we do get to Texas and we do classes around the US and other countries we're going back to London in a few months uh, maybe Scotland maybe in Italy um, so although we might not get to your area and you can't meet us you could always log in and it's going to be a very interactive well videoed class where you can we're hoping I mean we already have a few people that have real projects they're going to be working on alongside so we have a guy that I think is going to be pouring a floor that week um, and we have several uh, customers that have purchased their countertop kits um, and they'll be following along so have you ever done anything automotive like interior panels um, or body I've parts? Customers do some really cool um, vehicle panels. I had a guy that was way more artistic than me do some like gas tanks for motorcycles and stuff. I've had a lot of um, this is um, surprised me, but I've had a lot of RV like really high end custom RVs use this product because it's very flexible and it's 
and they like the epoxy look, but most epoxies are just too chintzy and cheap to put in some of like the multi-million dollar ones. So we actually get a couple of those every once in a while. Private jets even. Boats. And it's kind of funny because you can still do this for very inexpensively if you know what you're doing. So how many hours to prep and finish a tile shower? Um, I would say if you're doing a, t a tile shower your first time, expect to spend like seven, eight hours on it. If it's like a nice, decent size walk-in shower, that'll probably be like four or five hours one day, four or five hours the next day. Um, it does just depend on just what your level of finish is wanting to be, what you want your level of finish to be. Um, you know, just how pristine and perfect. You can always polish them, you can do awesome. Um, but I'd say once you get into a few showers, um, I just did um, I just did seven showers and they were all full walk-in showers and I did them with two helpers in three days. So it took me three days to do seven showers with two helpers. And we worked like pretty much eight hour days every day. But with this new product, it seemed like you did it pretty fast. This is a very, one of my favorite things I've ever done. I think if I was ever just to start a new company, I'd like to start a wall epoxy business, going into showers and wet areas. Um, what about Levi's milkshake? <laughs> Jeanette wants to know. My milkshake. <laughs> it's bringing all the boys to the yard like, a la Akbar. Is that from the story of me and Iraq? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry guys, I tell bad stories to people that are on here. So, um, what are you doing here? Okay. Weird stories. I am finishing out a wall over tile with an epoxy. So this is a wall epoxy of ours that we are finishing out directly over a tile wall. Same as you would do on a shower. Um, I'm actually doing some samples for my little girl's shower because I'm going to be doing my little girl's shower. And I want to see what she likes the most. So I thought I'd, thought I would probably some effort I'm trying to do my best job for her. Susan said an online could work. Do you ever come to Tennessee? Susan, I want to go to Tennessee so bad. I love Tennessee, but I have not been able to actually, that's one state I have not trained in. So. Um, oh, I have to approve this comment. Pouring by, pouring art by SM. Say what? Pouring art by SM said, um, they're from South America and would love to join an online class. Lauren from South America, check out the link in the bio. You definitely, I'd love to see you on that. Yeah, our online class is gonna be, we're getting a lot of interest. The funnest thing about it that I was surprised is that it's, I think it's gonna be a lot of people who actually are using the product during the class, following along with us, and they're gonna be um, doing like their own jobs, most of them, which that to me is going to be kind of one of my funner experiences maybe to see people be a little more useful so they're not just doing samples, they're actually at home in their kitchen or bathroom completing a shower wall, a bathroom, a kitchen countertop, a backsplash, whatever that may be. And that's probably what I'm mostly excited about with this. Chip. Chip said, I have a set of wheels off my personal Ford Ranger. Would you be interested in trying to epoxy them? You know, wheels are something I'd be afraid because this epoxy is a little heavier. Um, now, if you wanted to use like polyaspartic or something, that'd be a little different. But um, I'm, I'm worried about the balance because it is a heavy, I mean, this is a thick coating, the, the, like the countertop epoxy. This is wall, so it's a little different, but I don't think I'd be able to trowel the wheel as easy. Now I'm gonna get everything flat and I'm gonna trowel some gold into it or something, so. I mean, this is all just going right over tile, guys, so. They wanna know how you get it smooth. I wanna know. How do you get it smooth? Yeah. Um, ooh, yuck, don't touch it, that's what you don't do. Don't stick your finger in it like a dirty bird. What's love got to do? Got to do with it. What's love? Oh, Jeanette said, sorry I needed a laugh. Past few weeks have been hard. Oh, Jeanette, I hope your I husband's you. okay. I hope everything's going okay for you. We'll be praying for your husband.
Uh, what? Do we have Jeanette's address? Yes, we do. Yes, I do. I've We're stalked her a few times. I'm just kidding, Jeanette. <laughs> just kidding, Jeanette. You're gonna be getting a care package, Jeanette. Another one. Uh, what color will it be when it cures or dries? Um, same color. This doesn't change color as it dries. I'm just gonna add some accents into it here in just a second. But I'm gonna spray them and then knife them in. So. Can you elaborate on RV walls? Can you cover original walls or would they have to be new walls? Either way, you can pour over it like this here. This is an old tile wall. Probably, I think this building was built in the 60s by General Electric, so we went right directly over the walls. Susan said, I'm in Maryville, Tennessee, near Knoxville, the Smokies area. The Smokies are beautiful. I would love. I'd take a class in Tennessee. I would love that. Let me know. Call our office if you know a place where we can remodel a kitchen countertop, uh, do a floor, and you, if you could accommodate about 25 people, we'd probably come there for free. Um, depending on, we'd have to check it out, you know, verify location and access for customers. But I'd be very into doing a class there. Texas was somebody that had seen us on the lives, wanted to learn our product, they came here and met me, and then they just said, hey, we're building a winery, really cool dude, he's, um, dude, you gotta see if any, we'll have the, all those videos up soon too, I think we have some of them up already. Um, yeah, they're, they're going up this weekend actually, okay, yep, this today weekend. and this weekend. You'll see, and that's Dwayne and his super awesome wife out there that um, are building a winery, and they were nice enough to invite us out. Um, to the winery just to do, we did a floor, some countertops, um, did a few different fun just projects around this place. Um, how would you get it smooth so shower gunk doesn't stick? Oh, this will be very smooth just from doing the, using the knife alone, so. As long as, as long as I try to pretend I'm a little skilled on my final pass, I can use, usually get this yeah. pretty darn smooth. That backlit. It looks textured on the phone, but it's... Oh, it does? Yeah, this is really like glossy. glass. Almost. Yeah. The backlighting doesn't help. Let's see. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's, better. it's the lighting that makes it look rough. Hey. What time is it? It's... Cake Baby. So need to leave in like 10 minutes. I'll be ready. Thank you. I always think of Cake Baby off of um, Bridesmaids when I see your username, Cake Baby. Um, she said, I poured some epoxy resin over a painting and the mix pitted with some small holes. What did I do wrong? Oh, it might have been air bubbles, actually. Something, um, you know what? If you have an issue with something like that, um, call the girls at our office. We're really good at this stuff. So feel free, even if it's a different product and you're just worrying about it. Um, we'll get you figured out and then we'll sell you a product that probably won't have as many problems. But don't ever stress, it sounds like you're doing awesome art and you're just running into a few probably beginner design bumps and that's just to be expected. Could be good for you for doing something like that. Chip said, we're in Kansas City area. Can I surprise my sister by bringing her to your class? Dude, that'd be awesome. Chip, call her office. We'll get you a discount if you're bringing an extra person as a surprise. Can you polish it, the wall epoxy? Oh yes, I'll show you a polished wall here in just a second, so. Air bubble Levy. temperature. Yeah, oh, yeah, when you don't have outside corner trials with you. So you're trying to be the outside corner trial. I gotta oh, that's a bit pretend I'm in a hurry because I have little kiddos to pick up at school here. Oh, you gotta leave. Oh my like. Ten more minutes. Okay. Ooh, some gold. Okay, I just want a little bit of that rusty natural. Yeah, like, like I'm wanting this industrial to be like vibes. Industrial concrete, like just a. I should go behind you so you can just see mica powder. What we're doing Next here. Our 99% isopropyl Sorry, alcohol. Guys. So if I spray this wall, that's dried. Everybody says, what happens if you dry it and spray something else? Well, that's mica powder mixed with alcohol. So wherever you overspray it, as long as it's not a porous surface, it's a very easy cleanup. So it allows your accenting 
want to go very, very, very easy. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, Chip said, I meant how do I set up a class and where or how much oh. needed to get it set up as soon as possible. Is this in Kansas City? Yes. Um, you just need to call our office and we figure that out with you, Chip. Yeah. So if Area. you have a, a job like that, or a space, and you think that Kansas City is actually a pretty good area for us. We have a lot of interest out there. Yeah. Really. Um, I still wanted to show up at the Texas class. I was going to come as Mary Mellons. Jeanette oh, said. Mary Mellons. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we'll do that one more time. My safety flip flops were a little oh non. Um, just say I almost fell off my stool mm -hmm. and I didn't want to put my hand on my wall. That was black earlier. Uh, did we ever do the wall black? Say what? The wall wasn't black, right? No, this was never black. Yeah. That's silver we have on it right there. Yeah. Oh, man, that's it's kind of hard to nicely. see. Oh, I can barely reach the book. It's kind of Um, Kelly's close to Kansas City. So I'd like to come to a class. So what? Kelly's close to Kansas City. Kelly, come on out to our class if you want. Flops. Yeah, usually a lot of people have us do classes because we literally just do free projects at their houses, businesses. But it's a little more invasive sometimes when you will really have a lot of people and you gotta be able to accommodate a lot of parking and we hope there's somewhere really good to eat. I buy lunches, I buy lunches, but I like to buy them at somewhere nice that everybody wants to eat at, so. Okay, Flops so are OSHA approved. Tell me where we're headed with that. <laughs> is that, can you guys see that? That is a clean look, is it not? Oh yeah, the silver. Silver metallic. Look at that, dude, I don't know. Was the wall tile? I'm so confused. That oh yeah, we're tile. just doing like so a. This here was this tile exactly right here. So this same tile here, this is what we started going over, and this is cement um, with epoxy. It's a cementitious epoxy mix we do, and um, it looks gold. Um, that's we had a uh, gold underneath. Yeah, yeah. We, had, we had a little. It's like bit a gold. translucent gold. Yeah, it's kind of metallic-y. Yeah. And then we did silver on top. I'll show you so you did there. what layer? Two layers on that. Two right? on that wall. Okay, now. two layers. That is looking. This one's complete. Look it's at like, how. Could be like going to a nasty old shower that has tile from the '60s, and then do that right over the top. I think that's and any wet area. <laughs> you hit it with a sledgehammer and it probably wouldn't You're fail very half easily. Half blind in one eye. Same. Say what? Laura said I'm half blind in one eye. Oh, God bless you, Laura. I uh, can't wait for heaven so we get all that stuff back. Here's a wall. It hasn't been fully polished, but it's um, been sanded and brought back up to like a thousand. So. You know what? The last thing we better check on? The windowsill. Oh, yeah. Let's check it out. Check it out. Check it out. I do forget I'm mic'd these days. <laughs> I'm just going to a little torch in here. Okay, earlier that design. Like that set up. Good colors, Michael. Let's see, Michael's a pimp with the colors. Good job, dude. Here's our Polishing table. that wall has to take forever. Planned here in a few days. Let's see how our window sill did. See, we got. I'm gonna let a few of these air bubbles pop out of here. And there's the monument behind you, right? Yes, it yeah. Is. Colorado National Monument. And a bunch of snow cats next door. Thank you guys so much for joining us again, as always. Thank you for your support. Please hit the follow button. Um, subscribe to our channel. We're a small company, and that's a big deal. So we love you guys. God bless each one of you, and I will probably see you on Monday.
Oh, I might be doing a Q&A this afternoon just to anybody that wants to log in and it will not be working. It will just be sitting there to interact with you guys fully. So talk to you guys soon.